Hey everyone. Um, more tournaments are coming up. And I am not only covering the Spanish nationals, I am also covering the South African nationals, which is coming up on the 5th and 6th of November. So that is also pretty close by now. Um, I have been talking to Rudy, who is going to be uh, TOing uh, that event, uh, who is going to be the, he's, he's organizing most of it. And he is also right now, it looks like he's going to be the team captain for the South African WTC team, which is amazing. It's amazing that people can and do travel this far. Uh, to go and play games. it's I, I'm just astounded all the time at how cool this gaming environment is. So um, the South African Nationals, it looks to be a 24-ish player event. Um, I don't know exactly how big the South African bold action community is, but I am following their Facebook page and their social media, and it looks as if they have an active but uh, but size uh, differences. Um, there is just just a scale difference when you come from from maybe some European countries, especially the UK, and go out uh, abroad. Um, of course, America has a lot of players for all kinds of games, but the UK has the bigger concentration. And I know that we, when we go to South Africa, the actual distances are just very, very great. So getting to play games regularly with your mate is, is not always a possibility unless you live in one of the greatest cities. Um, so 24 players is really a good uh, th uh, like collection of players, especially because many of them are going to travel the distance that we travel in Europe to go to like a, a big tournament abroad. That is what they're traveling inside South Africa, right? So uh, 24 players is very good for me. Um, I know that as soon as the lists are all in and are checked, I will get to see the lists and I will make reveals of those. I will go over them on this channel. Um, and I also know that they're going to play what, what missions that they're going to play. They're going to play five games and they're going to play sectors, meeting engagement, key position, double envelopment and timely objectives. Timely objectives is one of those that is from um, the Bold Action Alliance pack, I think it was. And uh, I know that it's been revised a few times. I think the one that they're using is the one that was used at the WTC last time in Cork, um, which does not allow uh, forward deployment, um, for instance, which I think is the right way to play this scenario. It makes it more fun that you don't that you're not on the objectives turn one, um, but you have to move up to them. Th that's rather cool. So looking forward to seeing more from the uh, South African nationals as well. Um, and looking forward to seeing what lists they use, what is the meta. Of course, I have already been covering some of South African meta on my channel. I have been talking quite a lot to, um, to John Gordon. Uh, who plays there and and I've seen many of the lists. I've also featured some of his lists here. Uh, I've also been talking to Rudy. Um, so I know a little bit about what's going on, but let's see what, what the rest of South Africa thinks is good. So that was it. Here's 